Hi, this is Mr. Herman, and today we're going to be finding the missing missing check digit for an ISBN number. Now remember, ISBN stands for National Standard Book Number. Now we're going to be doing with only the ISBN 10 system today. Why well, don't we go ahead and copy down all the numbers from the ISBN number that I happen to have here, except the check digit. Try and leave a little bit of space between them. And you can go ahead and copy that down with me while you're waiting. And we'll leave a blank here for the check digit. Kind of like to put a box at the end. And this should be 10 numbers, so double check. That's 10 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good it is. And again, that's what we're missing. We're going to put this through a process or an algorithm to find the missing number that belongs there. The ISBN uh, check digit number system is a mod modulus 11 system, which means that you have to be able to divide by 11 and then take the remainder and add whatever it takes to equal 11 when you're done. So to figure this out, we're going to take and put it through the process of first starting with multiplying each of these numbers by a number counting from 10 down. So times 10 times 9, 8, 7, and these just count straight down. 6, 5, and so on. In this case, you'd be multiplying the check digit by 1, which leaves it unaffected, which is why we don't do anything. We just leave it alone. So if you want, you can just leave this alone and not worry about it because multiplying by 1 has no effect on a number. Let's go ahead and write the products down now. So straight down from this one here, 0 to 10, that gives us 0. And we're going to find the sum of these numbers, so just go ahead and add that up. So 6 times 9 is 54. 8 times 1 is 8. And just go ahead and continue adding those products as you go down the line here. And you can see I have all the way down here now to 2. Then you want to find the sum of these products. So go ahead and use your calculator to add those up. And I'll wait a second while you do that to see if you get the same thing that I got. When I added them up, I got a sum of 210. Now the next step is to divide. We're going to long divide to get a remainder. So let's take and divide 210, we we'll do it right here, by 11. Remember this is a modulus 11 system, so by dividing by 11 we get a remainder, and then we can divide and see what we get. So 11 goes into 2, 0 times, but it goes into 21, 1 time. 1 times 11 is 11. Remember to keep your work neat and organized so that you can see where everything's at. 21 minus 11 is 10. And we bring down the 0. And after this then, you can see that we need to move. Let's move down just a little bit here so we have some space. Good. And then 11 goes into 100 9 times. 9 times 11 is 99. And we subtract that and get 1. So with that 1 now, we have to ask ourselves, 1 plus what equals 11? In this case, you'd have to add 10 to that, so we can fill it in as a 10. But since the ISBN system is a modulus 11 system, and with that you have a check digit here, that has to be a single digit number. With a 10, we add an X, and the X is indicative of the Roman numeral for 10. So in this case, the check digit should be an X.